Hey everyone, I'm Jessica and on my channel we love to vlog about being a blended family. If you love to see routine videos, vlogs, or even contact involving step parents and blended families, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave any questions down in the comments. I answer every single comment. In today's video we're gonna vlog. I'm definitely gonna be cleaning the house, so a power hour during his nap. And my sister is here with her newborn hunter, so you guys will be able to see her and him uh so yeah stick around to the end because i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of newborn loving in this video what are you up to oh uh, yeah <laughs> what you doing you playing with mommy's stuff Yes, you are. So, like I said in my intro, guys, my sister's here from Gettysburg with her son. And they are still sleeping. I'm going to try and help as much as possible, but she's breastfeeding. So, that basically means I sit around and do nothing. We'll see. Nurtures that little boy. So, I'm going to give you a fair warning. Her son is very small. He's like five pounds seven ounces it's very tiny so don't be scared when you see a little nugget compared to ollie's chunky self how do you get your toddler to sleep on their bed like obviously ollie's been sleeping with me since day one so i'm having trouble getting him to sleep in his crib he sometimes sleeps in it during nap times but it's mostly like he just wants to sleep in our bed but i don't think he has enough room in his crib and he just like freaks out like he gets his arms stuck in the in between and he just doesn't like it. So if you guys have any recommendations or you think I should like upgrade to a toddler bed already, please let me know in the comments down below. So this is Hunter. He's here. My sister just fed him. She said he didn't sleep very well last night. Ollie does not like him. He's eating grapes over there. He just had breakfast and uh, my sister's outside getting some fresh air for a minute. And I am, you know, just watching over the little guy. Hopefully he doesn't cry. He's very tiny, very petite. And I kind of feel bad because all of my stuff is packed away downstairs. And I have to find the swing because she says he really likes the swing. So, um, I'm going to try and do that today. And I'm also going to go through my stuff and give her... A lot of baby clothes because obviously I don't need it anymore. What are you doing, Chucky? He's got some grapes. My sister's hanging out with Hunter. Okay, guys, so I have Ollie down for a nap. I'm gonna start doing. Uh, my power hour real quick. I have my sister over here watching a YouTube video because she doesn't understand cleaning videos are like everything. Right Tiff? Okay. So I'm gonna start this. I want to show you a quick overview of what it looks like in the house right now and then we're gonna get to it. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you.
later. It's like four o'clock. Anthony's home from work. My sister's still here with the little nugget. This nugget is being bad. That's funky one. We got Lily here. Give me that. And I got a picture of her and the baby. Put it back. Put it back. Ollie's getting in trouble. Good job. My dad came over for a little bit to see everybody and I just did like a quick one over so you guys could see my dad being nuts. But Good look job, at this buddy. little feet. Oh my gosh. So cute. Nope. <laughs> uh, so I did my power hour during his nap. Ollie actually slept three hours. I was able to get the dishes done, sweep, but you know, look, look at this. There's creepers on the floor. <laughs> After I just swept. <laughs> like, I just cleaned this house. Then last night. Uh, nothing does. I did all the dishes, put away all the laundry, and then I relaxed with my sister on the couch watching Vampire Diaries because what else do you do during a three hour nap? I'm stuck in house. I'm yeah, on quarantine. So if anybody else hasn't seen it, we're obsessed with the originals. I watched all of the series, and we're like big vampire werewolf fans. All right, so we're gonna eat dinner. I we're making pork chops, and when I say we, I mean Anthony, because my sister's here, and I need to pay attention to her. Do we look alike? Just kind of How much do we look alike? By the way, this is the sister I always talk about with the kids that are close together. Her name's Tiffany. Welcome, welcome to the fam. So my sister's getting ready to leave. She wanted to go get her car. Ollie is very jealous of this baby. I don't know how he's gonna deal with a little brother or sister next year. Are you gonna be mad? Yeah, you gonna be mad? Come here, give me a hug. Give mommy hugs. Come on, go say bye. Hunter, come on. Say bye, Hunter. We'll see you next time. Have a safe ride home. Yeah. Say bye bye, Hunter. Say bye bye, Hunter. Say bye. Yeah. Yeah. You want to give him a kiss? Give him a kiss? Huh? That's right. Bye. Give him a kiss. Good job. Nice. <laughs> so Anthony took Ollie up for bed because it's kind of late now. My sister ended up leaving. I gave her two extra large boxes full of baby clothes that I no longer use. And I'm super happy to be passing that along to someone who could use them because they've been sitting in my basement since Ollie's been born. Lily passed down her Monster High house, school, that's been down the basement for four years and she doesn't touch. So I passed it down to my nieces who were three and two and they will highly appreciate it, Lily. Right? Right. She's a little bitter about that, but that's fine. Um, I'm not sure how much of I got on this vlog. But me and Lily are gonna hang out until she has to go to her dad's at 6.30. It's about seven, I'm gonna walk her there and then I'm gonna start editing this video. It was pretty hectic with my mom, I mean with my dad and sister here. We were like getting into pretty touchy subjects. I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while or if you're new here, I am in a mixed family. I have a mixed family and yeah, it's kind of, we were getting into like the nitty gritty of like how it affected all of us as adults and young adults growing up in mixed family and also raising a mixed family. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna post that footage of my dad talking about it, but I asked him some, some deep questions about his feelings on raising kids that weren't his because you guys know that I have asked that I have questioned Anthony on his feelings about Lily not being his kid and how he, that affects him and stuff like that. But 
my dad is like he's not he said it didn't affect him at all that they were his kids and they will always be his kids just like my stepmom treats me as her own child and that she has like adopted me and I am now hers and she treats my kids as her grandkids. I grew up in a very loving environment from a mixed family perspective. So yeah, if you guys are in a mixed family or you're raising a mixed family of your own, please leave your experience down below because I would love to hear it. It's always nice hearing feedback from everybody else on how they were raised by step parents or how they're trying to raise their step kids. I really enjoy hearing your stories and yeah, it's fun to connect with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more vlogs, make sure you subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the video was. I'm always looking to make my vlogs more entertaining for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new video. Bye guys. Bye.